Last week, the game dropped the Black Slim Shady, which is one of the songs off of his album, Drillmatic. Black Slim Shady is a 10 minute diss track aimed at Eminem, and while there may be some high points and good bars in the song, that's not what this video is about. This video will undoubtedly get copyright claimed despite falling in line with the fair use policies that YouTube has. So if you really want to help me out and make this worth my while, make sure that your balls are clean and fresh and shaven by using my code CRYP20 at Manscaped. And for a limited time, anybody that buys the Platinum Package 4.0 and shows me proof on Instagram, I'm gonna give you guys a follow back. It comes with so much stuff, including the body wash, the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, the aluminum-free stick deodorant, my personal favorite, the ball deodorant, but it also comes with the anti-nicking, waterproof cordless with the light on it, lawnmower 4.0, and even the weed whacker to keep your ears and nose hairs clean. You also get a free travel bag with it and a free pair of anti-chafing boxers that are great for big dudes like me. But without further ado, here is Everything Wrong with Black Slim Shady. Slim this is a 10 minute diss track against Eminem who quite literally has not said one single thing about the game. Not one thing. One sin per minute of this diss track immediately. Hey grandma. Yeah, I'm still out making my Uber runs. I just got one more pickup kind of close to 8 Mile. Math time. The song starts off with a phone call from the viewpoint of one Matthew Mitchell, the younger brother of Stan, in which Eminem created an entire legacy behind. Matthew's dead, by the way. He died in 2013 in the song Bad Guy, but we'll get to that in a minute. Matthew Mitchell, big bro is for you. Oh, hope you can swim good. Now say you hate homos again. Stan came out in the year 2000, and we know that Stan was like Eminem in every way imaginable, which is why he was so obsessive with him. With that into account, we can assume that he was about the same age as Eminem, which would make this year his 50th birthday. Being that he and Matthew are brothers, they have the same mother, obviously, meaning that they also have the same grandmother. With that into account, in 1972, the year in which Stan was born, the median age in which a mother had her first child was 20. 6.7 years old, making Stan and Matthew's mother born in the year 1945 and roughly 77 years old. And in 1945, the year in which Matthew and Stan's mother was born, the median age for a woman to have her first child was 22.8 years old, making Stan and Matthew's grandmother born in 1922, making her 100 years old. That bitch does not have a phone. That bitch don't even know what Uber is. Hell, that bitch ain't alive. And neither is Matthew. This is a conversation between ghosts. Also, Uber strictly prohibits you from touching your phone for phone calls while driving. It's three demerit points and a $500 fine. And you can clearly hear that awesome Michigan infrastructure road noise in the background as he's on his way to pick up his last passenger for the night. And since we don't hear his grandmother's voice through the Bluetooth speakers in the car, we know that he's not using the allowed hands-free option. Ghosts are bad Uber drivers. I don't think they know who they fucking with. Ah, the classic, you don't know who you're fucking with trope in a diss track. Also, literally no one has said anything. Eminem, the person that this song is about, has not said a thing. He is quite literally not fucking with you because he hasn't said a word. Hi, I'm the Black Slim Shady. Hey, and Eminem Cadence, get used to that. Hey, and Eminem Cadence, get used to that. Get used to a lot of this generic rhyming that doesn't really mean anything at all. Also, the game rhymes the word sick with sick four different times in the first four opening bars. Sick in the brain, sick is the day that I came. Sick of you niggas, sick and tired of niggas. I understand he's rhyming other words with sick as well, but sick four different times is too many six. I'm sick of six. I stick my dick in your pocket. Hey, the game talking about his dick. Get used to that. Now you crawling out the driver's side like a centipede. Crawling out the driver's side like a centipede? Of all things that crawl a centipede? There's no other connection to that line at all. It's quite literally just something that crawls, and it's a very lazy line, which is funny because at the end of this song, you're gonna hear about the game telling Eminem not to be lazy when he responds. And me, I'm finna be on a jet to the Philippines. Hey, more useless rhyming. Get used to that. G A Ficky Ficky M, pay my face, I'm him. Game forgets to add an E when he's spelling, so instead of game, he's now game. Also, hey, and Eminem Cadence, get used to that. Putting this big black dick in your skims. Hey, the game talking about his dick, get used to that. Also, what the fuck is a skim? Every definition that I've looked up, every noun, verb, everything, slang, urban dictionary, everywhere I've looked, there's nothing that would make sense. I killed Dr. Dre in my basement last night. Hey, and Eminem Cadence, get used to that. Also, game rhymes last night with last night five different times in this section. Basement last night, wasted last night, ape shit last night, placed it last night, tasted last night. I understand that he's rhyming other words as well, but he's quite literally already done this tactic in this very same song, and we're not even 20% of the way through this 10 minute diss track. 
lost my taste and my smell. I got a Marion. <laughs> Twitter joke. Also, that counts as a COVID bar, and those are automatic sins nowadays. Me and Dr. Fauci went to Crazy Girls, and then we got a party on. Dr. Fauci is the chief medical advisor to the United States, and he got famous because of COVID. So guess what? Another COVID bar, another COVID sin. So C5 fum, I'm with 40 going dumb, not E40 to other 40. I'm with Canadians at Drake House having a steakhouse. This is a very sloppy transition where there's a line thrown in that completely does not rhyme with anything between two other rhymes that set different rhyme schemes apart. Fum and dumb rhyme with each other. Drake's house and stakeout rhyme with each other. But not E40, the other 40, means nothing at all here. What's beef? Beef is when you tell a chef to bring them steaks out. Yes, game. That is actual beef. But quite literally the exact opposite of the beef that he's referring to and trying to make a punchline about with the Biggie Small song and does so very unsuccessfully. What's beef? Beef is when you need two cats to go to sleep. Stay the fuck up off of Stanley grass and take a shit in their yard. Hey, more random ass rhymes. Get used to that. And my dick stay hard. Hey, the game talking about his dick. Get used to that. My dick get little on the internet. Hey, the game talking about his dick. Get used to that. Chuck? Yeah. The game apparently uses a fake name, Chuck, to order this Uber driver that he just so happens to know was gonna be Matthew. But if you've ever ordered Uber, you know that you don't get to pick your driver. Your driver actually picks the trips itself. And according to the Uber driver's current employee ratings tab, there's at least 68 drivers at any given time in Detroit. And that's just people who decided to review their job status, so it's the absolute bare minimum amount of people working there. Meaning at the absolute best odds, the game would have a 1.4% chance of actually getting Matthew as his Uber driver. Did he just keep ordering Ubers all day like Ricky Bobby's dad kept ordering pizzas to get his son is a delivery driver? Hell, that pizza shop only had four delivery drivers, and it still took him four times before he finally got Ricky Bobby. So does that mean that the game ordered 67 other Ubers before he finally got this one? Also, you have to register some form of identification when making an Uber account. They literally did this to prevent what the game is planning to do later on in this song. So this whole Chuck charade is just a load of shit. You don't need that mask. Nobody cares about that shit anymore. Is that a COVID reference? You got a charger up there with you? Yeah, for sure. Because the game's phone's nearly dead from ordering 67 Ubers before this one. Hey y'all, really fuck with that starter cap. That shit hard as fuck. Because if you didn't already know this is Matthew, the game really wants you to know this is Matthew. Also, holy year 2000 stuck in the past. Crazy story behind it. My brother Stan, rest in peace. Does Matthew forget the seven minute tirade that he went on in 2013 in the song Bad Guy where he drove off a bridge and killed himself? Is this like the Halloween franchise where we completely forget that certain plot lines exist? Whoa. He gave this hat 22 years ago. Damn. I love that they went into detail because Stan actually dropped 22 years ago, but they forget the details that, uh, I don't know, Matthew's dead! Who signed it for you? Eminem. He used to be like this rap god. Bad Guy, the song that Matthew killed himself in, happened before Rap God on the Marshall Mathers LP2 tracklist. So Matthew, knowing that he died in Bad Guy, would have no idea that the song Rap God even exists. The game is trying to make Matthew have a play on words with Eminem's song Rap God, but even if you ignore the fact that he's talking to a ghost right now, Matthew still feasibly could not be aware of the song. You can argue that Rap God was a single and dropped two weeks before the album, so maybe there was a slight chance that Matthew heard it, but no. The album was already available for pre-order and the tracklist was available at the time, so all songs were already created. Also, why is he explaining who Eminem is. He's driving on 8 Mile. Literally anywhere in the world of all places, that is where everyone will know who Eminem is. But all of this is redundant because Matthew's dead! Man, me and my brother praised him. And that's when I was little. I don't really like any of his new stuff. So why the fuck are you still wearing the hat with the signature? Also, why has he been wearing this hat for 22 years? That signature would definitely be gone with normal wear and tear. Wouldn't the new stuff be considered recovery for Matthew Mitchell from 2010 since he died before Marshall Mathers LP2 was released? Recovery was fucking awesome. Even Machine Gun Kelly liked recovery and he even said this in a diss track to Eminem. I don't know, this whole speaking to Matthew thing is full of non-stop logical fallacies that we're just gonna keep harping on because... Whoa, wait. I know where we're going. Wait, why do you have a good Yo, shit. Hey man, I'm driving, I'll get you there. Wait. The game is kidnapping Matthew at gunpoint, even though there's a paper trail leading back exactly to who the game is and where they're at in their current location. Uber protects their drivers, dog. Shut the fuck up. Alright. I love that Matthew refuses to shut up here, even though the game tells him to shut the fuck up with the gun to his head, and he still continues to talk. All I got is my word, my dick and my Mac 10. Hey, the game talking about his dick. Get used to that. One thing you can never have is my motherfucking black. Skin. Another disc claiming that Eminem wants to be black as its main premise of the disc. What's this, the 45th one that we've heard so far? So, oh, he goes platinum and oh, I'm on the map with him. Hey, an Eminem cadence, get used to that. He got all the blackest friends, he wants to be African, me. Ah, the you wanna be me trope that we always hear in diss tracks. Also, more Eminem wants to be black disses. If only we haven't already heard this topic being harped on in disses by Nick Cannon, Cannabis, Nick Cannon again, as is K Rhino, D'Angelo Bailey's lawyer, Cannabis again, Ja Rule, Everlast, Benzino, Nick Cannon a third time, Benzino again, Cannabis a third time, The Source Magazine, ICP Evidence, ICP again, Haystack, and Benzino a third time. 
Left for dead on the doctor's advocate. Dre never executive produced it. I just imagined it. Isn't this supposed to be about Eminem? Is he still salty that Dre didn't produce the doctor's advocate? There's very obvious reasons why Dr. Dre did not produce that. Why is that even being mentioned right here? And the album still went number one and sold 360,000 copies first week. So what the fuck is he mad about? If anything, it's 50 Cent's fault that Dr. Dre didn't produce it. Not Eminem's. Oh, here goes the magic tricks. Candy shops and the magic stick. Hey, and Eminem cadence. Get used to that. Also, the game is swapping back and forth between mockingly trying to rap how he thinks Eminem sounds using Eminem's cadence and also rapping how the game truly raps. And honestly, the lines are starting to get blurred. So now I can't even tell what is real and what's being exaggerated. D'Angelo baby got in shape to whip your ass again. He's bringing up Eminem's middle school bully. What? That dude sued in the early 2000s because he said Eminem lied about being bullied even though D'Angelo Bailey went on several shows and said that he actually did bully Eminem. He then proceeded to lose the lawsuit and the judge wrapped the verdict back to him. If any time in history, that would have been the time to get back in shape and whip his ass because of how embarrassing it was. Not 20 years later. So pass me the torch cause the torture in my mind with the voice that defied rhymes. Hey, another Eminem cadence with useless rhyme schemes. Are you used to it yet? Because it's happened to fuck ton. You depressed, you just mask. It. You pop an Adderall, a Vicodin, and an aspirin. Contrary to this statement, Eminem has actually been quite open about being depressed. It's literally the first five words of his song, Beautiful. I'm just so fucking depressed. I was in the white Rolls Royce with five nines. Earlier, he said all he had was his dick and his Mac-10, but now he's got five nine millimeters, so what the fuck happened? All I got is my word, my dick, and my Mac-10. I was in the white Rolls Royce with five nines. Also, he really stretched this five nines thing to make the Royce to five nine punchline that's coming up, and that's just bad writing. This is what I was talking about earlier with the lines being blurred. I can't tell if he's trying to rap like an over-exaggerated old-school Eminem or rapping like he normally raps now. Mike just forced the white guy to call D12 so he can be the pork that grinds swine. Eminem and D12 haven't been a solid group together since 2006. Why is this being mentioned? And the biggest rap in Detroit, that award is Sean Don. It's quite literally not. Whether you're talking album sales, monthly listeners on Spotify, what have you, none of those are true. I love Big Sean, but this is just not factual. So uncork the Chardonnay and stick my fork in white wine. Oh, I get it now. He did it so he could have a punchline about Big Sean's song Marvin and Chardonnay and the white wine. But that's still a forced punchline based off the lie that Big Sean is the biggest rapper in Detroit. It's very similar to the Royce to 5'9 bar where he just kind of made stuff up out of thin air so he can make a punchline try to work. I never heard you in a club. I never heard you in a bar. I'm not much of a club goer, but the one time that I did go to a club back in 2013, I went to Club La Vila in Panama City, Florida. I vividly remember the Ying Yang Twins being the main act for that night. And as part of the hype up music, they played 50 Cent's Into Club and Eminem's Crack a Bottle. Coincidentally, a game song was not played that evening. Also, you cannot tell me that Shake That was not played in millions of clubs across the US. Now shake that ass for me. Shake that ass for me. Same goes for Smack That with Akon. Smack that all on the floor. Also, if this was the criteria for being one of the best rappers ever, we'd have a lot of shit rappers in the GOAT conversation. This is just a bad stance from an argument that people have said for years now. 11 albums and 10 never got play inside of my car. So far, I've counted exactly three copies to a T of Eminem flows. We have the flow from Lose Yourself, which came from Eminem's Curtain Call or 8 Mile soundtrack, depending on which one you want to use. It doesn't really matter. So, oh, he goes platinum and oh, I'm on the map with him. The flow from My Name Is, which came from the Slim Shady LP. Hi. I'm the black Slim Shady. And some flows and sound effects from the real Slim Shady, which came from the Marshall Mathers LP. I killed Dr. Dre in my basement last night. There's also at least four other times where games rapping in a very familiar Eminem cadence. Cause the torture in my mind with the voice that defied rhymes. Sick in the brain, sick is the day that I came. G A, ficky, ficky M, paint my face, I'm him. You call him not the driver's side like a centipede. And me, I'm finna be on a jet to the Philippines. Philippines. I just can't be bothered to dig through all the songs to find the exact ones because this is already a 12 minute video and we just hit the halfway point. The point is, game is exemplifying at minimum three Eminem album styles in this song alone, rendering the statement that he's only played one Eminem album completely false. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that he's listened to every Eminem album, so we're gonna give one sin per lie per album. I'd rather listen to Snitch 9 like 69 times than participate in 69s with 69 nuns than listen to you. Then why have you rapped like him for the last five minutes? In the very interview that started all of this, he called Eminem one of the great MCs. I like Eminem. He's one of the fucking good MCs. Great MCs. He raps fella. You know what I'm saying? Ficky, ficky, ficky. He's also on record as having Eminem his number four rapper alive right now. What happened to all that? You're a Karen, call the cops, tell him it's a black man on your block. Jesus Christ, this was the second and stupidest line of the whole thing. Ah, Epstein's chasing me around Epstein Island. Game pretends that dead people aren't dead again. Also, this weird noise that the game makes is imitating Eminem's noise from his song Just Lose It. 
which was on Encore, making this the fourth confirmed Eminem album that the game is imitating on this very song, despite saying that he's only ever listened to one Eminem album. I'm, I'm thinking, uh, uh, nothing rhymes with orange. Here, the game is making fun of Eminem trying to rhyme with orange that he did on his song Tone Deaf, which came from his recent project, Music To Be Murdered By, Side B, making this the fifth confirmed album that the game is imitating on this very song, despite saying he's only ever listened to one Eminem album. So 50, 50, slim, shady, please stand up. Hey, another Eminem cadence, get used to that. Shoot the fade with me, I love to put these hands up. Game literally said in this interview talking about the entire beef that he's not actually trying to fight, he just wants to rap with someone. When I said what I said about M, it was to challenge him to challenge hip hop, to ignite a rap riot, not a street fight or not a, let's pull out the straps. This slim Haley's with me and she's unharmed for now. Got him really scared. Hey, mentioning Haley on a diss track against Eminem. Nobody's ever done that. Ah. I'm cold as COVID Ebola, the Spanish flu and Corona. Two COVID bars in one line. You can't make this shit up. Also, the game's the four millionth rapper that said he's cold as a cold. The Zika virus pneumonia is deep inside my persona. Hey, you name an M cadence. Get used to that. The renegade or the soldier, I really gave it to Hope. I feel. At this point, the game is literally just recycling everything that everybody has ever said and touching on every single buzzword he can think of. Right now, it's renegade. He already went after Haley. Surely he's not going to go after Kim or his mother Debbie at some point too, right? 23 years still ain't penetrating. In the culture. I'm not gonna list every accolade because I'd be here forever, but this is false. You are not top five in mine, big or pot eyes. No shit! Biggie and Tupac are dead, and they died before the Slim Shady LP came out, which is when everybody heard him. That's like saying Elvis or Jimi Hendrix doesn't have Metallica in their top five. No fucking shit! Also, literally just over a year ago, the game tweeted that Eminem was in his top five. You can't make this up. It's still on his Twitter. I don't know how many sins to give this. We're going with a thousand because there's just direct proof. Sniff a white line. Eminem is going on 13 years sober. This is the Nick Cannon approach of talking about old drug use. And if there's somebody that you don't want to copy in an Eminem diss track, it's Nick Cannon. My Suge Knight Vanilla Ice. Hey, the game calling Eminem Vanilla Ice. Nobody's ever done that before in a diss track against Eminem. Yeah. Also, Suge Knight used to stalk Vanilla Ice and would just show up anywhere that he was out of nowhere, including his own hotel room. And in that hotel room, he took him to the balcony and threatened to throw him off the edge if he didn't sign away some points to Ice Ice Baby. So unless the game somehow comes away with some points, for Eminem's Lose Yourself, I think we can call his bluff here. I'm crazy. Hey, an Eminem style, get used to that. I'm not Mr. Nice Guy. Hey, uh, you just said that. Literally, like, five seconds ago. Just said those exact words. You didn't piss off Jimmy, Universal, and Interscope. Nope, I got Jimmy, Slim, 50, and Universal, Interscope. YouTube rappers have been saying this punchline for four years now. Then I'm running in the Interscope. If they don't stop me, then the Interscope. Crazier than Kim. Hey, the game talking about Kim on an Eminem diss track, because nobody's ever done that before. Yeah. You love your mother? Well, I'm cleaning out your closets for you and your half-brother. Hey, the game talking about Eminem's mom on a diss track against Eminem because nobody's ever done that before. Yeah. And I told you when I was in Detroit, I wanted to go to a mile because when I was little to get some Eminem's, I had to walk a mile. <laughs> This is the stupidest line of the whole song. This is so... <laughs> uh, 100 cents. Leave his brains all thin when the game's all in, then the chainsaw ring ring. Hey, another Eminem style. Even though the game says he doesn't listen to Eminem, get used to that. Hello? Hello? Paging Dr. Dre? <laughs> He ain't got a lot to say. Hey, another Eminem style. Even though the game says he doesn't listen to Eminem, get used to that. But since Curtis always do, let him write the rhymes for you. The game literally said in this interview that he wants to battle 50 Cent, but that he can't rap and won't rap. So he's battling Eminem because 50 won't rap. So this is completely contradictory to the main goal here. Why M? Like, what was the you origin? You want to know why? Of, yeah. Because 50 can't rap. He can't out rap me. So your buddy can. Your buddy can rap though. And so I gotta go and level up and challenge the better rapper. The chick on the show wasn't picking me and Mariah wasn't picking you. The game does the Eminem 8 Mile tactic and disses himself on the song so Eminem can't respond with the diss, right? Also, the game talks about Mariah on an Eminem diss track because nobody's ever done that before, yeah. Do rap for 10 years and never had one wave. This is one of the best disses of the whole song. Too bad Ja Rule said this fucking 15 years ago. It was the do rag off. You never go have waves. You never know black pain. This is not mom's spaghetti. What does this even mean? There's so much of this throughout the whole thing. I understand the famous line of Eminem's mom's spaghetti, but this is not mom's spaghetti. That what does that fucking mean? This your dad was 22 when he ate Lil Debbie. He tastes the cake. 
Cause she was only 15 So how can one not sympathize with her having you as a teen? Finally, a legitimate great diss. I will remove one sin for Sir Game. But the game also just lost a sexual assault court case So he's not really one to speak on this issue So I'll take that sin back now Little Marshall Mathers Mad cause nobody thinks that Little Marshall Mathers Have I mentioned that Eminem literally has not said a single word about this entire thing? If anything, the game is pissed off and mad because so many people think that Eminem is in their top five and would kill him in a versus battle. Uh, and, and, and I used to think Eminem was better than me. So what you saying right he now? He not. He not. He's not. Challenge, hey, hey, challenge it. Game, you don't want to go versus against yes, Eminem. Yes, I do. What do you mean? Oh. Yeah, I do. The fuck you mean? So if anything was the matter, the game is getting madder and madder that little Marshall Mathers matters. Let's get this shit all together. The picture was ripped, I fixed it, but none would meet you in 50. Let's stitch this shit all together. The game rhymes all together with all together. They're the bookend rhymes with some inner rhymes in the middle of it, but the bookend rhymes are still the same word. I even kidnapped Stan's brother and baited him in for you. Hey, did I mention that Matthew's dead? But you would just say no. Probably leave us in the blistering cold. Hey, another direct line from an Eminem song, even though the game says he doesn't listen to Eminem. Get used to that. God made you damn near perfect, he just missed your soul. So you agree that he raps well. You ain't a shell of who you used to be. Hey, another diss that somebody else has already said. Get used to that. And after you, it's me on the Uzi spree like it's two of me. And Matthew's dead now. Matthew was already dead! Also, earlier in the song, he said he only had a MAC-10, and then it turned into a MAC-10 and 5.9 millimeters. Now it's a MAC-10, 5.9 millimeters, and an Uzi? How many fucking guns is this guy carrying on him? Also, that sound effect was not an Uzi. That sounded more like one of the 9 millimeters he's got. Did you read your beard or get another facelift or do shrooms in your mom's basement? Nick Cannon and MGK have quite literally said all of those things in their diss track. How ironic. An attic in a basement. 13 year old drug joke. Cool. Alright, in all seriousness, I will take away a sin for this because I love this punchline. I know Eminem has said something similar about being an addict and using the room addict and drug addict and that flip, but this was cool. Okay, I'll give him this one. You never understood Ebonics or Cadence. I'll take that sin back now. Jesus. The whole song is the game using Eminem cadences, but he says he doesn't understand cadences. The hypocrisy is immaculate. While I'm here, I should really thank MGK, UGK, Tech 9, Uzi Spray. Is game shouting out MGK because he kind of gave him a green light to diss Eminem because he made Rap God? A big part of the Eminem MGK beef happened on a song with Tech 9 If so, that does explain why he waited till just now to diss Eminem even though he's had since 2006 to do so since that's how long he and 50 have been beefing. Hi kids, here's some fun. Hey, another Eminem cadence even though he said Eminem doesn't understand cadences. Are you fucking used to it yet? Let's all say nigga once. Fun fact, there's more recorded cases of the game being convicted of sexual assault than Eminem using the n-word. Your fans want a Rap God? Well fuck it. I'ma give him one. Where? Listen, I'm not one to blindly hate. The game is a fucking incredible rapper. Definitely a top 15, top 20 rapper of all time. But this is not the game. I don't know what this is. I came to put Slim in the box, but he already live in one. The game waits to the very last line of the song to actually drop a really cool bar. Pick that pin up, don't be lazy. 80% of this diss was just him using old Eminem cadences. Talk about being lazy. Get little on the internet. I woke up, I look at the computer, the computer say, Floyd say, fuck T.I., fuck Nelly, fuck 50. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? Thank you to everybody that watched this video and a special shout out to everybody on the screen right now. These are my YouTube channel members that support me directly through YouTube. If you guys want to sign up to be a YouTube channel member, there is also a link in the description with that. You get a cool badge next to your name that everybody can see. You get priority comments. I always reply to you. I always show love. And I give you guys a shout out in every single video that I do. This video took a lot of time, so please drop a like, share this video if you guys can. And uh, yeah, that's it. Love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Where were you on the nights that I sat by myself? In my room, out my mind, trying to handle my health. All alone on the phone, hoping you pick up the cell. But now I know how it goes when I get your voicemail. Where were you on the nights that I sat by myself? In my room.